Okay, hey guys, I'm about to make some fish and some cabbage and um, right now I cut my fish in half like this and this is whiting. So um, I'm only going to use three different seasonings. This, I normally use Obey, but I'm going to use this seafood seasoning. So I'm going to just sprinkle some of that on top. Add a little bit of pepper. And use some garlic powder. Okay. And then I am going to rub it in so it can be on both sides. Because I like to have my food seasoned. So I'm just going to rub it in a little bit. And I have my grease right now um, warming up on 400 degrees in my deep fryer. And I am going to get ready to put some flour on it so I can fry it. Okay. So yeah, those are the three seasonings that I'm using, and they are it's very seasoned. So my grease is getting hot. So. I'm going to use Atkinson's seafood bread. I don't have any cornmeal because I would normally mix both of them, but I'm going to just use this. You can use cornmeal, you can use flour, you can use seafood bread. I like to normally mix mine, but like I said, I don't have any cornmeal. I'm going to use what I have. I thought I had some, but I didn't. So I wasn't going back to the store because I need to go ahead and cook. But this is a mixture of cornmeal anyway. So I'm going to put about this much seasoning. And in my, um, and in my breader, I'm just going to add the seafood um, seasoning. Okay. Because I already done seasoned my meat. And like I said, I normally use Obey seasoning, but I'm not today. I'm using the seafood seasoning that I have. Okay. So use whichever type of seasoning that you like. So I have about this much oil inside of my uh -oh, inside of my pan. And let me turn my light back on so you guys can see better. So, so my batter is ready. Well, my breader is ready. And I'm just going to take the fish, and the oil is ready. You know when it's ready because you can feel the heat coming out. I might let it warm up a little bit more. It's not as hot. You might have to let, when you use a deep fryer, you might have to let it warm up for about a good five minutes before the grease is ready. And I just literally um, plugged it up about two minutes ago. So, anyway, I'm going to take a few of my pieces like this, and I'm going to just batter it. We'll put the breader on there and just flip it like that and then I'm gonna add another piece in there as well while I'm waiting so, so those are the only pieces that I can put in there for now so I'm gonna let that sit there a little bit longer while I'm letting the water 
I mean, not the black and white. You know, I'm letting the oil heat up. Alright, and it sounds like it's ready because a piece of, I said a piece, a drop of water just dropped in there by accident. So, we're going to see. So, I'm going to add this one inside of the deep fryer. I have here a little sizzle, and I have it on 400 degrees, <laughs> like juvenile. On the old heads that listen to that type of music in the late 99s, early 2000s. And I'm just gonna put those two pieces in there and let that fry for a little bit. And while that's frying, I'm gonna just go ahead and go ahead and put the breader on a few more slices. Now, fish is an easy meat to cook because it's a light meat. It's not even considered a meat, it's just considered fish. <laughs> but I still say it's meat. And you're going to do the same thing all the way through until you're done with all of the pieces. I want to be listening to some music, but YouTube is good for um, demonetizing the videos, so I don't want to get copyrighted. So I'm just not going to listen to music, but I normally listen to music and cook at the same time, but I wanted to do this video for you guys so you can see how I make my fish, my fried white And it's Friday. And coming up when I was younger, in a black household, either it was fish on Friday or like pizza at my mom and dad's house. Now at my grandma's house, every Friday was fish Friday. I remember going to the fish market with her and she'd go get some fish. And we'd come back home, go to her house, and she'd cook it and she'd make coleslaw from scratch and we just have coleslaw and fried fish and a piece of bread we call it light bread <laughs> so yeah um i'm from the south so that's just one of the terms we call it i don't know if you just call it just Sandwich bread, but we called it light bread. <laughs> so yeah, man, the only difference is I'm just gonna make cabbage. I would make like rice or something else on the side, but I'm just gonna do the fish and then I'm gonna do the vegetable, which is cabbage. So I'll be right back when it's time to um, take the fish out. Fish doesn't take as long as chicken, of course, because like I said, it's a lighter meat, even though it's considered just fish, but you can tell when your food is almost ready, because it always floats to the top, and that's another reason why I like cooking in a, um, a deep fryer, so, and then you can also tell because the grease, the sound of the grease start lightening up, it don't be as loud. So I'm going to go ahead and take this piece out. And put it inside of my grain, but this is what it looks like. My strainer, grainer, whatever you want to call it. Let that oven fry a little bit longer. So yeah, my grandmother used to also make cornbread. She'll make coleslaw, cornbread, and fish. And we used to have, um, she used to cook 
snapper, um, trout, flounder, and all of our uh, fish had bone in, but she has skeleton everything. I'm not doing all that. That's why I like to buy mine from the store. <laughs> like, the, it tastes better when you do all of that, you know, because it's even fresher, but this is good right here. But you can do this with all types of fish. It doesn't matter if it's um, tilapia. I don't eat tilapia anymore after I found out it was something that I didn't want to know about it. <laughs> It was saying that it was like kind of like a fake fish and I don't want to eat fake fish. I'd rather eat the fish that is coming straight from a pond or a lake or a river or an ocean versus something that's man-made. We already eat enough man-made things so I'm not trying to do that. Okay. Here's my other piece. Like I said, this is a great investment, guys. I had to get it when I was at Walmart um, a couple of weeks ago when I saw it. I had to get it. It's a great investment because it fries your food effortlessly. Like, you don't really burn it unless you're not paying attention. And like I said, the grease is on 400 degrees, and these pieces are coming out looking real good. So, um, put this piece in first. Just make sure that your fish is already um, thawed out because you don't want to be cooking frozen fish because it's going to come out mushy because I've done that in the past before trying to hurry up and, and the insides come out mushy. You don't want that. You want it to be perfectly fried. Okay, guys, so I'll be back when it's time to do the cabbage and I will show you the finishing, uh, the finish product of the fish all right so i decided to go ahead and start cutting up the cabbage now while we're waiting for the fish to fry all right so what you gonna do i go ahead and take these pieces off because i know i'm gonna throw that out but i take well i don't throw this out i'm gonna cook that but you know i'm gonna throw this part out what i do is cut it in half And then cut it one more time. I like mine to be cut into four. I'm gonna take this to the side. And then I just like to cut it like this. Well, sometimes I cut it like this. Okay, then we put it in our bowl because we gotta wash it off. He'll probably grow into eating it now because he's getting older. That's it right now. Nah, he don't like it. This um side went that big, so I didn't have to cut that one in half. I'm just cutting it all the way. without cutting it in half again. Okay. Hold on, I forgot to get that fish out. All right, and even though you have the fish in the um, fish fryer, you're still, I mean, not fish, fish fryer, deep fryer, you still want to want to turn it over a little bit. Like if you had fish in there, but you only do that like once because fish doesn't take long to fry. Okay, and what I do with the remainder of the cabbage leaf is I roll it like that and I just cut it up. This is how I do my collards when I cook collards on me. My neighbor, is, she has a garden and she grew some collards out and she's going to some. So, 
can't wait to see when we come back so I can make some of those fresh collard greens I love so much. I love it. Okay. And now, I'm going to take the remainder. I'm going to leave the board out because I still got to cut up the onion when I'm about to put it inside of the water for the cabbage. Now I'm just going to clean the cabbage off. With just water. I'm going to soak it. I'm going to clean it a few times, but you're going to pour out the water that you have in your nail. Hold on, guys. i got to take the fish out. I'll be right back. Okay, and a trick that you can use when you're cleaning your uh, cabbage off inside of a bowl, you can, um, I'm going to rinse this off one more time. I already rinsed it twice. But what you can do is um, use a lid. If you don't have a, a strainer, because I'm using my strainer or drainer to for my fish. And what you do, you know, you just Clean it off real good. You put the top on like this, and then see if I can get closer. Put the top on like that. I don't know if y'all can see it. It's halfway on there, and then you just pour the excess water out. I wish I had a better angle so you could see my gun. But you just put an excess quarter up. Like that. Alright, and that's my last time washing it off. Let's see. Now it's drained. Now I have to get the water ready because I'm going to cook mine inside of uh, a pot. So. Okay, I put about a cup of water inside of my pot. And I turn it on about a, a medium high. And then I add my cabbage. Cabbage has water in it already, so you don't have to add but so much. Okay. And I gotta cut up my onion that I'm gonna add on top. This fish is almost ready, y'all. I only have one more piece left. So when I hear it still flying, making that loud sound, even though it's loaded to the top, I let it cook a little more. Okay, Should be ready. I'm gonna just go ahead and take the rest of this onion that I made something with earlier this week and just cut this up. This is a half onion. Okay. Just add that up there. Yeah, add that in there. The chicken powder is what I call it. So I don't have any measurements. I just use my eye, and it's not gonna be too salty because I've been cooking for years with this. So I just use that, 
take this piece out. I just add about that much of the chicken seasoning. Then I'm gonna add some pepper. Then I'm gonna add a little bit of vegetable oil, about a cap full. And I'm gonna stir it up a little bit. minutes to cook the way I like it but this is the fish so the fish is done and now we're just waiting for the cabbage to get done and I will show you the rest you have to periodically check your cabbage because like I said it makes its own water so with the lid on there, it's steaming it for you. And you just stir it up a little bit. You got about 10 more minutes to go. So it'll take about 15 to 20 minutes to make cabbage. Unless you use a steamer, take less than that. But I like mine a little soft and a little crunchy. I like it in between, so that's why I use the pot. All right, I'm about to take a look at the cabbage again and see if it's the right, I had to turn, you know, like I said, no copyrights, but it's almost where I like it, the in-between salt and crunch. So, and this is only, it's only been about five minutes. I just like to check on it. Stir it up. But it's almost where I like it. So we'll be cooking a little bit longer. And it's it, I never turned it down. It's still on the medium high. So that's what it's looking like. So it's almost there. All right. And you see how much more water had, um, how much more water the cabbage made. That's why I only put a little bit of water in there. So that's why you don't put that much if you don't want it. But my cabbage is ready. I'm about to turn it off. And here is the finished product. I put mine on this small plate because I'm trying to watch my weight. But I have my cabbage and I have my whiting, my fried whiting. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below. Let me know if you do anything different or if you like to see me do another type of cooking video. Alright, I hope you guys have a great evening. Bye.